Hi, I'm Tony. Welcome to Sports Bike Shop's video about the Shoei Hornet ADV helmet. Shoei's Hornet ADV is a long running adventure helmet that shows the sort of class most riders expect from a top line brand like Shoei. It costs from £449.99 in plain colours through to £539.99 for graphics like this sovereign colour scheme. It has a composite fibre shell, it's Shoei's Advanced Integrated Matrix Plus, and that means this one has an actual weight for this size medium helmet of 1560 grams, which is very respectable for this class of helmet. The shell for the Hornet ADV comes in four sizes. The smallest covers extra small and small, then medium and large each have their own shell, before XL and XXL share the largest shell of all. The Hornet has vents at the chin, where there's this rocking switch just here, and then a secondary vent on the top just here. This one isn't so immediately obvious in how it works. Sliding this switch back reveals a hole through the shell to the interior. Air is then drawn through this channel on the top of the peak and into the helmet. It's then able to escape through these outlet vents at the back of the helmet. The venting isn't the Hornet ADV's biggest strength in my opinion, it's more the sort of ventilation that suits a road touring helmet rather than someone doing lots of hustle bustle and off-roading. But if you do want to use this helmet for off-roading, then goggles will fit neatly inside the eye port and we have people here on the Sports Bike Shop team who've happily worn a Hornet ADV for off-roading. The goggles will fit in with the visor still in place or it's just a little bit easier if you remove the visor first. The visor, which by the way, is protected against mist by a top grade Pinlock Evo insert that's supplied in the box, is easier to remove than many other adventure helmets. It's quick release like most showy lids and it can be removed without you having to take off the peak. But I find it easier to remove and refit the visor with the peak slightly peeled away. It's really easy to do with this helmet. A counterclockwise twist of this mounting screw lets you lift the peak away for easier access to the visor underneath. So this screw is neatly retained within the peak. So I think you'll be going some if you end up losing that peak screw through a change. If you do need to remove the peak completely, it's really easy to do that. You just release these screws on both sides like I've just shown you, and then pop this top cover off here, which reveals the mounting inside. And then you just push that section there down and that allows you to slide the peak forward and remove it completely. The Hornet ADV isn't designed to run peakless or in what's known as street mode on other adventure helmets. Theoretically, you could run this helmet without the peak, but that venting hole on the top would be exposed all the time, so it's less than ideal. Street mode on other helmets is helpful in that it eliminates any aerodynamic drag on the peak, which can make the ride noisier and less comfortable. Thankfully though, the Hornet ADV is pretty good aerodynamically, even with the peak fitted. These louvres in the peak just here help ease any air pressure acting on it so it doesn't act like a sail pushing the helmet back, which is what you get on some adventure helmets. When I first rode in this helmet, I was coasting around at 60 miles per hour and I thought this was the quietest, smoothest helmet I'd ever worn of any kind, let alone the best adventure helmet. But then when I turned around and started riding into the wind rather than with the wind at my back, it was a bit noisier and more turbulent, but it was still good. Upping that pace a bit more to sort of motorway speeds, made the peak wobble around slightly in the wind flow, which is on the Suzuki V-Strom 650 XT I was riding for this review. But still, it was certainly as calm and quiet as most adventure helmets and considerably better than some. Switching to the inside of this helmet, the interior is Shoei's 3D Max Dry Liner. This one is more about moisture management and some of the customer reviewers mentioned that it's not the smoothest liner. Silky smooth touring linings are usually not so good at dealing with sweat so a slightly coarser feeling liner like this one is better able to cope with moisture. The cheek pads on the helmet are emergency release. It's the sort of feature you hope you'll never need, but it might make life easier for a paramedic if you ever do need their services. What they do is they can just hook onto these loops, pull the cheek pad out while you're still wearing the helmet, and then it makes it much easier for them to remove the lid. There are alternative thicknesses of both cheek pad and skull pad available to fine tune the fit on this helmet, which is often the case with showy helmets. As usual, if you're buying this helmet from us and you want to take advantage of that service, then get in touch with our customer support team and they'll run through what you need to do. 
It's easy to remove the liner from this helmet and there are also recesses behind the cheek pads where you can comfortably stow a pair of intercom speakers. In standard trim, there are foam inserts that are tucked into those recesses, which makes life quieter for people who aren't riding with intercoms. You just pull those little pads out and then that creates the space for you to put the speakers in. The strap fastener for the Hornet ADV is a double D-ring, which is more in keeping with an off-road style of helmet rather than a touring helmet. And the helmet comes with optional add-ons in the shape of a breath guard, which just slots in on the top of the chin bar there. And then there's also a chin curtain. Both of those are supplied in the box with the helmet. So dig around for those if they're things that you want to use. So approvals for the helmet. The Hornet ADV meets ECE 2205 for road use, and it's approved by the ACU for competition and track use here in the UK. It's not rated by the UK government's SHARP scheme, which subjects lids to impact tests and awards a star rating based on the results. As I've pointed out in other similar review videos, that's not really a big surprise, as for some reason SHARP hasn't included a single peaked helmet in the 488 lids it has tested as we record this video. I hope that covers everything you wanted to know about the Shoei Hornet ADV helmet, but if there is anything you'd like to ask, or to add, then please pop a comment below. And if you like our videos and you want to stay up to date with what we're doing, please subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching.